today we're going to answer the essential question, how do you calculate conditional probability? Remember our key understanding. Conditional probability is when you've got one event given another event. Keyword is given. Here's our set notation. The probability of B given the probability of A. And you find that by taking the intersection of A and B divided by the probability of A. Notice this is our formula sheet, and we do have the conditional probability formula on our formula sheet at the lower right-hand corner. Here's an example. In a standard deck of playing cards, find the probability that a red card is a queen. Let Q be the event that the card is a queen, and event R be a card that is red. Write a conditional statement in sentence form. Remember, I want to find the probability that I get a queen. So I would write, what is the probability that you choose a queen given a red card? Next, I want to write the conditional statement in set notation. So my set notation would say P for probability that you want of a queen given that you have a red card. And then here's our formula that we're going to use to find the conditional probability. Remember to find, use the formula, it would say the probability of queen and R, red. So I only have one card that is both red and a queen out of 52. And the probability of red card, there's 26 red cards out of 52. So to find the probability of those, I can eliminate my denominators of 52 since they're the same denominator. So my answer is 1 over 26. Here's another example. A botanist studied the effect of the new fertilizer by choosing 100 orchids and seven, giving 70% 70 of these plants fertilizer. Of the plants that got the fertilizer, 40% produced flowers within a month. Of the plants that did not get the fertilizer, 10% produced flowers within a month. Find the probability to the nearest percent. All right, what I want to do is I want to find the probability that a plant that produced flowers got fertilizer. So I find the probability that the plant got fertilizer. Now, I'm going to need to define my events. I'm going to say A is flowers and B is fertilizer. I want to write the conditional statement in sentence form. Be sure to use the word given. So I rewrote it to say, what is the probability that they got fertilizer given that a plant produces flowers? So if I write that in set notation, that would be find the probability that the plant got fertilizer, that's event B, given that they produce flowers, that is set A. So there's my set notation. Let's try another one. Find the probability that a plant that got fertilizer produces flowers. So I want to find the probability that they produce flowers. If I define my event still as A is flowers and B is fertilizers, I want to write it in conditional statement in sentence form. Again, be sure to use the word given. So I wrote it, what is the probability of producing flowers given that a plant got fertilizer? So if I want to write that in set notation, again, I what is the probability, P for probability, of producing flowers? That would be event A, given that the plant got fertilizer, and that would be event B. So there is my set notation. Another example, in order to study the connection between the amount of sleep student gets and his or her school performance, data was collected about 120 students. The two-way table shows the number of students who passed and failed an exam and the number of students who got more or less than six hours of sleep the night before. So if I want to find the probability that a student who failed the exam got less than six hours of sleep, I first need to define my events. I said my events were A, they passed the exam, and B, 
They slept less than six hours. So if I wanted, what is the probability that a student who failed the exam, that would be the complement of A because they didn't pass, got less than six hours, that would be set B. So my events are A failed the exam, or complement A failed the exam, and B got less than six hours. I want to write that in sentence form. Be sure to use the word given. So I would, what is the probability of getting less than six hours of sleep given that I failed the exam? And I want to write the... Next, I want to write it in set notation. So that would be the probability of getting less than six hours of sleep. That would be set B. Given that they failed the exam, that would be the complement of A. Let's try another one. What is the probability that a student who got less than six hours of sleep failed the exam? So let's define our events. So the probability a student that got less than six hours of sleep, that would be set B, failed the exam, that would be the complement of A. I want to write the conditional statement in sentence form. Be sure that we use the word given. So what is the probability of failing the exam given that they slept less than six hours? So if I write that in set notation, my probability would be, what is the probability, so P for probability, of failing the exam? So that would be the complement of A given that they slept less than six hours. So that would be set B. So there is my set notation. Now, we're going to work these exercises four through nine uh, using a set of playing cards. The event A is a card as an ace. Event B is the card is black. Event C is the card is a club. Find each probability as a fraction. So the first thing I need to do is find my probabilities for each event. So I said there were four aces in a deck of cards. There were 26 black cards in a great deck of cards. And the probability is C. There are 13 clubs in a deck of cards. So I found the probability of each one. Now if I want to find the probability of A given B for number 4, then I've got to use my formula from my formula sheet. So I know that the probability of A and B, the probability of getting an ace, and a red card or a black card, there would be two aces. They would be both in A and B. So that would be 2 out of 52. Over the probability of B, which is a black card. So that would be 26 out of 52. So the only thing I have left to do is simplify my fraction. Since both denominators are 52, they cancel. So my answer would give me 2 over 26, which it could reduce by a factor of 2. So that would give me 1 over 13. So the probability of choosing an ace, given that it is a black card, would be 1 out of 13. Next, let's do number 5. The probability of B, that's the card is black, given that the card is ace. So I want to write that in set notation. So that would give me the probability of B and A. So that would be B intersect A given the probability of A. Because notice, A is my last letter. You always put your last letter in your denominator. So how many black cards are aces? Well, two black cards are aces, so 2 out of 52. And how many cards are aces? So the probability of ace would be 4 out of 52. So all I have to do is simplify my answer, which would, my aces, my 52s would cancel. So that would give me 2 over 4, which reduces to be 1 half. So the probability that I get a black card, given that you started with aces, would be 1 half. Let's look at number six. I want to know the probability of A, which is ace, given that the card is a club. So that would give me the probability 
of ACE intersect club over the probability of club because it's my last number. Now I know that I, how many ACEs are also clubs. That will give me 1 out of 52. So that's the intersection. Over the probability of a club, there were 13 out of 52. So to complete my answer, I want to cancel my denominators because they're both 52. So my answer would be 1 out of 13. Number 7. I want to find the probability that I get a club given that I have an ace. So I'm going to take that up here. The probability of it being a club intersect and a ace over the probability that it is an ace because that's my last probability. So how many clubs are also aces? I know that I have one club that is an ace, so that's my intersection. The probability of an ace, I have four aces in a deck. So all I have left to do is simplify my answer, cancel my denominators. So that would be one fourth. Number eight, the probability that I get a black card given that it is a club. So I would write that in my formula, the probability of the black card intersect the club over the probability of club because it is my last event. So how many black cards are also clubs? Well, there's 13 black cards that are also clubs out of 52. And how many clubs? 13 out of 52. And this one's nice because both the numerators and the denominators cancel. So the probability that I get a black card given it as a club is 100%. And number nine, I want to find the probability that I get a club given that it is a black card. So I say the probability of a club intersect black card over the probability that it's a black card. So how many clubs are also black cards. Well, I know I have 13 clubs that are also black cards because all clubs are black. And I know that I have 26 black cards out of 52. So all I have left to do is simplify my fraction. The common denominators cancel. So that would give me 13 out of 26. And I can I reduce that by a factor of 13? So that would be 1 half. So the probability that you get a club, given that it's a black card, is 1 half. So hopefully we're going to practice this tomorrow and you'll be uh, more familiar with using the formula. I hope this helps.